All right, welcome back. I'm wondering if you, you're aware of how many Nigerians Googled how many words last or this year. <laughs> yes, still on. I mean, the word Google has become a, a word. It just means a lot of things. It's not just about a company, but it's now a verb. When they say Google something, it's, uh, it just simply means you, you, you enter the Google search engine and search for any word. Um, so that's how powerful this, this company uh, Alphabet, a.k.a. Google is. Um, Google announced the results of its 2022 year in search, so they call it, revealing the most searched terms, uh, people, actors, musicians, topics, questions, and more uh, that captured the interests of Nigerians the most throughout this year. Generally, the African Cup of Nations, AFCON, Oxlade, Casimero, <laughs> Will Smith, Queen Elizabeth, Finesse lyrics and Nico Lagbo as a movie. Buga let the trends on search. But in the entertainment sphere, you had the likes of Oxlade, uh, uh, born in Kufuriji Olaito, after a man who was embroiled in a sex tape scandal, which topped the list of Nigerian entertainers and even featured in other categories like the top 10 uh, trending people of 2022. Um, entertainment features prominently as the industry held its own on the list of top trending musicians. You know, uh, as I said, Oxlade was there, but he's also on the list of top trending generally. But let's look at musicians. Oxlade was number one. You had Asake uh, Mercy. I'm sure you can relate to that. <laughs> uh, Black Sheriff, my Ghanaian brother, was also there. Portable, uh, Zazu Zer. Lil T, Jay, Ruga. Kweku the Traveler, that's still um, uh, Black Sheriff. Buju, uh, Angela Kijo, DJ YK, we're all trending in the entertainment sector. Um, should we go to politics? I do not know. <laughs> I'm sure if, if I ask you uh, who trended in politics, you will be able to tell uh, that. We'll look at that as we go on. But joining us this morning, I'm pleased to say, to help us make sense of this, is the Communications and Public Relations Manager uh, West Africa for Google, Taiwo Kola Ogunlade. Uh, Taiwo, good morning to you and thank you very much for your time. Good morning, thank you for having me. All right. Um, why does Google or Alphabet come up with uh, this um, you know, report, the uh, year in search? What's the, what's the motive? So, um, the, the year in search is, first of all, the year in search, thank you very much for having me first. Right. I mean, the year in search compiles the moments the people, the topics, the events, and the places that capture the attention every, every year. And just as search helps people explore and discover a world of information, um, there's so many other ways to also explore what people are interested in and what we call the zeitgeist of the times, right? And uh, year in search is that. It's, that. it's at that time of the year where we're able to, you know, just stop, take a look at, um, what has captured our attention during the year, and um, especially as the end of the year, people begin to plan for the new one, right? And just release that list and help people take a look at what they've been searching for through the years, uh, through the year, what the top moments are, what the interests and concerns are, and, and help people make a plan for the coming year. Um, and, and that's why we do it. Google itself, our mission at Google is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful to everyone. Um, in the end, search in itself is not an end. It's, it's, um, it's a means to an end. It's helping people acquire knowledge, acquire information to make themselves better, to improve themselves. And many times it's usually just good to be able to take a look at what has gone on and help people be able to plan um, for, for the future. Okay, but, um, you know, when you juxtapose it to other climbs, uh, you find that it's a bit different. For instance, uh, you know, there are also some, uh, you know, statistics has been put out that most such topics in Google for 2022 in other climbs, you have the Holland 2000, and that's 2022, Warriors and the Celtics. You have Ukraine, uh, Encanto, you know, all of us are dead. So I'm, I'm trying to understand what's the disparity, you know, with what we have in Nigeria and other climes. In the end, it comes down to what a people are interested in. We are a very different people and we're very unique. 
right? And and I think that that's one of the things that technology does. The aim of technology is to help you get access, regardless of who you are, regardless of what your interests are, regardless of what you love, right? If you love sports, if you love technology, if you love um, music, if you love, I mean, I heard you were just talking about Oxlade. If you heard, I mean, if whatever it is that your interests are, it will align. And when I joined Google in, in 2011 versus now, even the interests that have been displayed by Nigerians has drastically changed. And I've seen how Nigerians now go on Google to, to, to search for really, really critical topics, things around the elections, you know, which you mentioned earlier, things around um, politics, sports, technology, and all sorts of things that Nigerians go on. In the end, we want to be able to help people find access and get get the knowledge that they need at the time that they need it. So it's going to be different, you know. As much as um, people are different, as much as our interests are different, these things are going to continue being different. Um, uh, as the goal here is such um, a a. Uh, uh, a reliable way to to know what the generality of Nigerians are looking for or thinking about or talking about questions on the minds of the majority of Nigerians bearing in mind that most people are um, spend more time on on social media websites on social media uh, apps rather than on the internet you know on on, on the on the browser let's call it that um for instance Chrome where you know Google will be the lead search engine and some use other browsers as well um, but people can also search for topics on Twitter they can search for topics on um, on Facebook it might not lead you to websites but it get, gets you to some information so um, how powerful is Google in determining or telling us what people are thinking about talking about and searching for generally so people come on Google um on, on, on our platform, we have billions of searches every year, right? Including those of Nigerians, right? And I think that that, that piece of data set is, is, um, is rich enough. When you, have, when you find people going on Google to do, conduct billions of searches every month, uh, leading to billions of searches every year, um, it, that data set enough, I think it's, it's a rich enough data set to be able to say, this is what is happening. And the, the list that we pull every year the year in search list is a list of the top trending searches it's what um and, and when you consider what a trend is it's what what has spiked this year versus last year right so for instance um um iphone 14 was trending this year um even though it's a new term it wasn't trending last year right oxlade um the most top trending nigerian on on the search list this year, was trending this year for specific reasons, right? Um, and, and, you know, so it's always going to be that way, right? The, the data set itself tells you people come online and people go everywhere. They go to different platforms to conduct searches. Um, the year in search is what has been trending in Nigeria on Google um, in this particular year. So, but uh, in all of this, uh, for instance, we, you, like you have rightly mentioned, Oxlade, and we know that, uh, you know, for the specific reason why that was actually a trend was because of, you know, some tape that was actually out there. So can, can we categorically say that, you know, this is really the interest of the people or it's just born out of curiosity? Curiosity is an interest, right? It's, it's what people want. It's what people... Um, at the end of the day, it comes down to the questions that people are asking, right? Um, who is this individual? What what is it? What is it? What what are his interests? What does he do? Why are people searching for him, right? And and I think the um, I, I'll say it this way: one of my favorite quotes by um, Isaac Newton. It says, "I see further because I stand on the shoulder of giants," and I think that that's that encapsulates what search does. Search is getting access to the knowledge that is provided by, by the entire world in one tiny device. You go on it, you ask those questions, regardless of what it is. Sometimes it's not even anything related to, um, to an artist. So for instance, Peter Obi is the second top trending Nigerian 
on the Google search list this year. Peter Obi is a presidential candidate, and there are so many people wondering why him, what makes him qualified, um, what are his antecedents, you know, what's his person like, what does he love, where has he been to, and those sort of questions are really, really important. You know, people need to ask questions uh, before they can before they can make decisions. When you make when you ask better questions, when you get better answers, your options just become a lot more wider. And that's why we are very excited about how our platform helps to um, um, helps people find answers. You know, and helpfulness is something that is something that we're very um, um, eager to sort of promote and how our tools help people become better versions of themselves, helps them find answers and helps them learn. So, so, so um, I mean, it's quite dicey here, but I'm still also trying to uh, ask you and understand, if you look at, you know, 2022, a lot has actually happened. Several incidents, uh, you know, people, a lot of things have happened. And one would begin to think that, uh, for instance, Jakba is, you know, one phenomenon that has been on the front burner, uh, you know, for 2022. And I'm just surprised that that hasn't, you know, topped the search, you know, how to Jakba, how to, you know, leave the country. Uh, if you also look at the issue of, you know, um, inflation, inflation has been uh, such a very, you know, major phenomenon for us as a country. Uh, mm -hmm. Some people will begin to coin it in different languages, uh, hardship, difficulty, uh, you know, increase in the price of good, some other issues, you know, the Naira and what have you. So I'm just wondering why these very, very pressing issues have not really dominated the search engine, but rather uh, you have others, which also have happened, not to say that they haven't really happened. So I'm wondering, is it really that um, these are the needs of the people or People are just really curious. They just want to find out. I think the one thing, the one thing one would need to be careful about is, you know, we need to be careful about assuming what we think people want or what we think people know or what we think are the trending topics. Um, and the list that we have this year um, is very reflective. It's very data reflective. It's not, we're not assuming. It's not some people sitting in an office and saying this is what people are interested in these are actual searches conducted by human beings um, and these are questions that people are asking and if you look at the lists you would see that there's there are certain things that are very clear one is you would find that sports is a big deal for nigerians two you would find that a lot of international occurrences and incidences um, issues around Ukraine, issues around Russia. One of the top questions that people are asking is who is Vlad Vladimir Putin, for instance. And a lot of these international issues are very topical for Nigerians as well. And this is not to say people are not asking questions about how to travel. But the list only gives you the list of the top 10 trending lists. So how to travel is probably maybe somewhere in that list, maybe further down the line. But we usually will surface the top 10 lists um uh, and because again that's the amount of time we we'll probably have um you would see the world cup was trending afghan was trending and you will see on the list of top people you would see lisandro martinez casemiro it tells you that nigerians are very interested in sports so a lot of these things as much as and, and we're usually very careful not to discountenance what people the questions people are asking um again these searches come they come very at the spur of the moment for a lot of people at the point where they, they have that question in their mind. Maybe it's to settle an argument with a friend. Maybe it's because they help something and they just want to find out. Maybe it's just because they want to improve themselves. People search for different reasons. Um, it's not our place and we don't decide what people search for. Um, the list only shows this is what people have been searching for. And it's not, it's not based on guesswork. This is actual data and actual stats that show um, this, this um, searches and this behavior. All right. T thank you, Tao. Um, I mean, Google has been at the, uh, uh, at the center of, of uh, you know, controversy as far as um, uh, privacy issues are concerned. Um, I, I believe that these, this data brings again to the fore privacy issues. I mean, 
why should my uh, my search you know be on Google's database why should I not have it private to me um, is Google not further you know uh, uh, crossing the red line as it were with data privacy coming up with such and keeping storing such data I think I think the question of data privacy is entirely different from this conversation. These are very anonymized data. You don't know who is conducting these searches. You don't know. These searches come on the platform. And I think it's when people go on Google, they go on Google to find information and to find knowledge and to learn about what's going on in the world around them to understand better. And, and it's also in the same vein that we release this list to help people get answers to what are the top questions that people are asking in certain geographies, in certain locations? Um, it's in the vein, it's in the mission of Google to be able to provide knowledge and to provide information and to help people learn. So, th so I think that these are very entirely different uh, platforms. Uh, all our platforms are very, um, we take our, our commitment to privacy very seriously on, across our different platforms. Um, a lot of people, a lot of things yeah, that people yeah, but, do but, are very but, but the, thing, the thing is that, um, <laughs> yeah, what, what we hear, sorry to inter, in, interject here, is that Google compiles, you know, individual search logs. You know, you compile individual search logs containing information about what we're, 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 we're searching for. Um, and that information is meant to be private to me. You know, I don't want what I'm searching for to be compiled and stored in your database. Um, some will say these searches and this data, of course, are sold to businesses and business interests can use them for advertising purposes. Um, so, so should Google really, shouldn't Google be having a second thought about storing individual search logs? Wow, I get it. And, and that, using the information, reason, giving the information to the, to the corporate world to say, look at, this is where you can make your money. It's all about money. I get, I, I get a sense you're reading this off some some platform. I'm not reading this off um, anywhere. The, we even do, if I am, um, these are the we issues. Do have privacy, we do have privacy controls across all our products. People can choose how you want Google to store your information, how you want your information to be used. You can choose to wipe them. Um, our default across all our different platforms and all our different tools is that you know it automatically wipes um, the sort of information that you don't want. Um, online, but this is a, an entirely different story from a year in search. And I think um, it's the same way you would go on every different social media platform and see what is trending, what is it's the information. No, but 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 I'm, I'm I'm sure you're aware, Taiwo. I'm sure you you're very aware, even though you accuse me of taking this off somewhere. But this is the truth that Google has been criticised for collecting data about internet users. You know, you have been criticized for aggressive tracking and disclosing too much information to governments uh, for a very long time with, uh, you, know, you know, heavy concern coming from Google and Analytics in recent time. You know, uh, we can look at what's going on in China, um, but we don't have time to go into that. Um, in Austria, the, there was a decision by the Austrian uh, Data Protection Authority, you know, last year, December, uh, being Europe's first decisive move against Google Analytics, you know, and it, it's raised a lot of concern. I know you were aware of that when it happened. It raised a lot of concern, you know. So if you're compiling logs of, of users, user data, you know, our search preferences and all that, even if you say you, it, 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 you wipe it off, but it, it's there. This is 2022. You've given the results. So should you be keeping these, this information? Because people are moving to search engines that ensure your privacy, they don't keep in anything at all. Yeah, I mean, as I said before, we have privacy controls across all our different products and um, people do have power. And I think, and I really do wish we had the time to go into all the privacy controls that people have, um, um, but people do have the control to decide exactly which part of their information is shown and what part of their information is not. And that's an entirely different conversation from year in search, which is an entirely an an anonymized. It shows these are the top searches in a specific region. It's entirely different. Um, and you, you mentioned um, earlier about 
Jackba being a thing. Yes, Jackba is a thing, but you don't see it anywhere in here because these are not these are not private. These are not information that is private to certain people, right? It's, it's also the same as when you go on searching certain um, social media platforms and you see these are the things that are trending in that area. The entire world lives around information and lives around knowledge, right? And that's what Google provides. Our platform helps people get access to information that they need and at certain times. Okay. And at the end of the year, we anonymize all that data and we pick a list of what are the top searches in, in specific countries or in specific areas. And that's what you see there. Some of the... So, but, 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 um, some but of how the, then... Yes, how then do we, you know, explain the fact that almost all such as uh, from Africa, uh, most times you have results generated from the United States and France. And just to say that local content is just a few African countries, you know, that really put out that local content. So for every time you have a search from Africa, uh, content are not really almost generated from Africa. Why start? I don't understand the question. Could you take it again? So now it's reported that almost all internet searches, especially from Africa, uh, you get you know the results emanating in terms of content from the United States and France, and just uh, you know few of uh, African countries actually you know get to put out that content. What I'm talking about, the question is about local content. So if you're searching for a thing, it should emanate from you know, Africa. So, but most of such is from Africa doesn't really come out from Africa in terms of the result. It comes out from other countries. Do you understand what I mean? That, that's, not, that's not necessarily correct. Um, I think your, your analysis is a bit, um, is a bit flawed. Um, in that, you'd see a lot of the searches. You take a look at the top trending searches, for instance, and you've seen some of them. Asus Strike, for instance. You're not going to get results about Asus Strike from 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 Russia, right? It's going to have to come in from Nigeria. And these are things that Nigerian media organizations, Nigerian people with websites or Nigerians have put online themselves. So again, it comes down to what people are looking for and what sort of content is available online for that sort of information. Um, and, and the work that we do at Google is make sure, again, it aligns with our mission at the company to organize this world's information and to make it accessible for people to find them at the point where they need them. So yes, there are some things that you go, you search for, and it will give you a result that was put in by someone, like maybe uh, an organization based in the West or based in South Africa or based in Kenya, but there are also a lot of other information that is put online. We put, we put a lot of work on, relevant, on relevance, and, and making sure that the information that people find online at a certain time are useful for them and that it makes sense to them. Uh, a, search, a search trend like Buga, right? It's, it's entirely Nigerian, created by a Nigerian. It's a dance step created by a Nigerian. Peter Obi, Nigerian as well. Uh, Oxlade, Nigerian. Asu Strike, Nigerian. And, and a lot of these um, different searches are very Nigerian. Portable, Nigerian. Lil TJ, Nigerian. Ruga, Nigerian. I mean, and you can make this sort of conversations that you can extend them on and on and on, right? Um, the important thing here, and to bring it back home, the important thing here is that um, we're excited that Nigerians are going on Google to search for information, to improve themselves, to make themselves um, get the knowledge to take them to the next level. And, and I think that over the years, search trends has shown that um, in how how the kind of information that Nigerians are searching for have become even more refined. And, and it's very reflective of the times as well. Um, the world is going through a period in which, in which there's a war that is affecting economies globally. Nigerians are asking questions, why, right? There's a strike that kept students home for over eight months. Nigerians went on Google and are searching for All right. ASU strike updates and ASU. T Taiwo, right. we, we, have to, we have to go. I, I think we'll, we'll look for a time to look at the privacy issues, which you said, of course, we don't have enough time for. But it's interesting to know what Nigerians have been thinking about, talking about, and, uh, and searching about, and, of course, the conversations that are being had. And we want to thank you very much uh, for your time. 
Thank you so much. All right. Taiwo Kola Ogunlade is a communications and public relations manager, West Africa of, of Google. And that's uh, the size of that conversation. We have more ahead. Fifth with us.